okay now let's look at this example um, we need to find out some time domain uh, specification transient response specifications for the system so um, here is one loop and um, then you have the integrator and then there is the uh, unity feedback loop so we need to find out k and we need to find out p when the uh, overshoot is equal to 25 percent and the uh, peak time is 2 second and the value of the j is known to us so if you look at the uh, closed loop transfer function of this one uh, relating this rs with cs so if you work out you will get this expression equal to uh, k by s square plus k p in to s plus k right so uh, now if i compare it with the standard um, second order transfer function that is omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so by comparison i can say that omega n square is equal to um, k so omega n is equal to under root k and uh, comparing this term k p uh, is equal to 2 zeta omega n so from here i can write down uh, this expression okay so now if i um, look at the expression for the zeta from our time and uh, transient response specification so zeta is given by uh, this equation if we know the overshoot mp and um, the zeta can be calculated so as we know the uh, overshoot that is uh, specified that is 25 percent so if i uh, use this value over here that you can see 0.25 so if i simplify the zeta will be equal to 0 0.404 so for the damping ratio of 0 0.404 you will get the overshoot of 25 percent okay so now uh, let's calculate the uh, peak time peak time is um, pi by d uh, pi by omega d and it is also specified that it should be two second so taking it equal to 2 second um, from this equation i can write omega d is equal to pi by 2 and that is equal to 1.57 radian per second so that is the damped oscillation frequency right so we have calculated the damped oscillation frequency with the given specs okay now omega d uh, is related with omega n by this expression so omega n will be equal to omega d by 1 minus zeta squared so omega d is known uh, damping factor is known so natural frequency uh, of your this second order system will be 1.72 radian uh, per second so now with this information now we can find out the k k is equal to omega n square so if you know the omega n you can find out the k that uh, this um, parameter and then the p that is this feedback that you can um, uh, calculate with the help of um, this expression so p will be equal to 2 zeta omega n by k so putting up the values so you are going to get 0.471 right so we have solved all the uh, parameters of this system according to the uh, requirements when the overshoot is specified peak time is specified and the value of the j is known that is the inertia of your system okay now let's uh, uh, look at this example uh, this is the mechanical system uh, here is the spring the con spring constant is k and uh, here is the mass m and here is the damper with the constant b so when we are going to apply the force of um, two pounds right so um, the the mass is going to be displaced uh, so displacement is the output that is the x so when we apply that uh, 2.4 so it is displaced um, uh, by some amount and the response of the system is given by this equation so uh, the steady state value is uh, 0.1 so c infinity is uh, 0.1 in this case right so the net displacement in the system is 0.1 and this overshoot is given to us that is 0 0.0095 feet okay so over here we have the feet uh, we are uh, discussing this in terms of the british units so uh, the output is x of t or the response of your system so um, that is given by this curve so now let's first of all write down the transfer function for this one so transfer function for this system is given by this one x of s that's the output displacement and the input is uh, um, this force p or the, so x of s by p of s will be uh, given by this equation right and uh, p of s is equal to uh, as it is the unit step input so its magnitude is 2 so 2 by s uh, will be the unit uh, will be the step input so p of s is 2 by s so how to find out x of s x of s will be equal to this transfer function into p of s right so p of s is 2 by s so you can see 2 by s over here multiplied by this transfer function okay so you will get this equation for the x of s okay so what we want um, uh, that x at time t is equal to infinity that uh, if you apply the limit that t approaching to infinity in the response equation so uh, 
that will give you the steady state value of your system in the time domain so uh, by using the um, final value theorem in the and uh, s domain so you can write down this set of limits uh, in s domain like that that when s is approaching to zero uh, the limit will be applied into s s into x of s where x of s is the laplace transformation of this x of t that is the response equation of your system okay so now um using this final value theorem so uh, x of infinity and um, the steady state value in terms of s domain will be given by this equation limit s approaching to zero s into uh, x of s and x of s we have evaluated is this one so taking this value over here so if we simplify this one by taking s is equal to this s and s will be cancelled out s is equal to zero so this term will become zero this term will become zero so you will be left with two by k so two by k and we know that that this step uh, response uh, in time domain at uh, infinity when the time is approaching to infinity that is steady state right so for that it should be equal to 0 0.1 so taking it equal to 0 0.1 from figure right so uh, 2 by k should be equal to 0 0.1 so k should be equal to 2 by 0 0.1 that is equal to 20 so we have determined this spin constant this k should be equal to 20 if we uh, have this step response uh, from this system okay now um, we can find out the overshoot the overshoot is uh, seen over here uh, 0 0.0095 so um, that is the overshoot and i'm going to multiply it by 10 why because uh, it is uh, being considered uh, with respect to 0 0.1 uh, steady state value so if it is one uh, then it will be uh, because we in the previous videos we have discussion we have dis uh, discussed the expression with the uh, considering the unit step input so for unit step input it should be one but over here we do not have the unit step input um, it's different so its response is like that it is 0.1 so um, it's basically 0 0.095 uh, with respect to 0 0.1 and uh, this overshoot uh, will be now equal to 9.5 percent so considering it as a percentage of this 0 0.1 so that is only 9.5 percent so if you know the value of the overshoot so you can use the expression for the um, damping factor and you can calculate it equal to uh, 0.6 okay so if you know the damping ratio then you can find out the peak time that is omega by omega d uh, pi by omega d so um, peak time is known to us that is equal to 2 right so taking this in this ex expression tp is equal to pi by omega d you can find out the damping damped oscillation frequency so that will be equal to 1.57 radian uh, per second okay so if you know this omega d you can find out omega n because you also know the uh, zeta so omega n is equal to omega d by 1 minus zeta square so using the values so you can find out the natural frequency of this second order system so that is 1.9625 radian uh, per second and uh, now taking this uh, Mm, transfer function that we have determined x of s divided by p of s so that is equal to this one so now um, comparing um, converting into a form standard second order function so we are going to divide it by m so we uh, all the terms by m so 1 by m divided by s square plus b by m s in plus k by m s so now uh, what will be this b by m this b by m will be equal to 2 zeta omega n from the standard uh, second order transfer function and this k by m will be equal to omega n square so we can write down these two expression by writing it in the standard form and uh, from here we can find out the m m will be equal to uh, from here m will be equal to k by omega n square so that comes out to be 5.2 so this mass will be of 5.2 uh, kilogram to get um, this response okay and then um, from this equation uh, b is equal to z 2 zeta omega n into m so just plugging in the values this beta uh, this b should be equal to 12.21 so we have evaluated all the system parameters this is 12.21 this mass is 5.2 kg and we have determined this k this k is equal to um, 20 right so from the um, step response given for this system we have evaluated all the constants or the parameters of um, this system okay so um if i summarize uh, this session so we have discussed the examples that if the system is known to us um, and some conditions are imposed we can find out the parameters 
of the um, system uh, by looking at the transient response specifications that we discussed in the earlier um, video sessions so uh, we can determine the response of the system in detail we can uh, uh, we can determine the system from its response uh, from its response and if the system is given we can find out the response by uh, the ex using the expression those we have already derived so that's all from this video uh, thank you very much